just in case you don't know, this is Highlight, one of the fastest games in the world. And here in South America, it's one of the national sports. The others being bullfighting and revolutions. They're all tough and they're all dangerous. That's what makes it one of the most thrilling places to be. If you want excitement, you don't have to look for it. It's all around you. Senor. Yes? Well, if you're thinking of selling that to me, don't bother. I already have one. Then I suggest you don't attempt to use it. And don't try taking this from me. I'm not alone. Shall we go? I know this may sound like a vain hope, but are uh, you sure you have the right man? You do yourself an injustice, senor. Who could mistake the famous Simon Templar? Going, is it far? Are you boys in business on your own, or are you taking me to see someone? Come out very slowly, Mr. Templer. Welcome to the Laru restaurant, Senor Templar. You can put the gun away now, Senor. You will alarm the customers. I'm uh, Carlos Sevilla, captain of police. You already met Detective Esteban. Uh, back to the office now. Si, Senor. Um, may I have my gun back, please? He took your gun? But this is excellent. Oh, in ten minutes with the saint, you can learn more than in a whole year in a police school. Here end of the lesson. Will you join me, please? At the uh, risk of seeming over-curious, would you mind telling me why I'm here? Oh, just to give me the pleasure of your company for dinner, senor. I never dreamed I would be so fortunate. Uh, I've ordered some of our more exotic national dishes. <laughs> ah, this is a great honor for me, senor, to sit at the same table as the famous saint. It was very good of you to come. You're very kind, but... Why the gunpoint invitation? Oh, I know your reputation. You thrive on adventure and excitement. Also, in this way, you had little opportunity to refuse. Oh, that's true. A little excitement does do wonders for the appetite. The terrine is made of fresh water fish. Its subtleties are enhanced with the wine. It's, it's a Chilean Riesling. Less sophisticated than German ancestor, but uh, it has the enthusiasm of adolescence. You see, I know lots about the wine, but little about the lady. They're both very attractive. American, isn't you? Yeah, almost certainly. But if you look at the two gentlemen just entering, going to the bar, you will notice that we are not the only ones interested in her. Who are they? The Enrique's brothers, Pablo and Manuel, both very bad men. For years, they've made millions out of our country. If you know they're crooked, why don't you lock them up? Do they lock up all the crooks in your country? Anyway, a government commission is just investigating their affairs, but it takes so long. By the time the case is prepared, the government may be out of office. By out of office, you mean overthrown? See, si. You see, revolution is almost a traditional feature in South American politics. The Enriquez have a great fortune to protect. They would most happily finance a revolution. Oh. oh. Is this not magnificent, senor? 
Excuse me, Capitan. Uh, we've just had a call for you on the car radio. You are wanted back at headquarters. Now? See, see, it is most urgent. This is a tragedy. Will you please forgive me, senor? Has the revolution started? Oh, no, senor. I understand it's only a matter of armed robbery. Adios, senor, and I hope you enjoy your stay in our country. Adios. Waiter. Yes, ma'am. May I have a telephone, please? It worked perfectly. Mr. Templer is intrigued. He knows about the Enriquez brothers? Just enough to make him want to know more. You came in perfectly on cue. Pity about the food, though. Mm. Do we stay here and see what happens? Now, we go back to headquarters. I think the next move will come from the Saint. Thank you. Hello, this is Doris Inca. Would you put me through to my brother's room, please? As I said, amigo, you are coming with us. Now, do you want to walk like a man, or shall I make other arrangements? All right. All right. All right, I said I'm coming. I'll quit your shoving. What about the phone? It's probably my sister. I was supposed to meet her half an hour ago. Well, we want to be sure she doesn't worry and ring the police. Uh, you answer it and uh, tell her you're okay and you're on your way. But you would be, as they say, easy and cool. Hello? Sherm? What the devil are you doing? I've been sitting here alone for 45 minutes. Uh, I'm sorry, Doris. I, I got delayed. I was on my way when... Look, I'll be along in a little while. Uh, you go along and uh, order some dinner, huh? Sherm, you sound funny. Is anything wrong? No, no, no. Every, everything's all right. I'm fine. You just go along and order some food, and by the time it's ready, I'll be there. And stop worrying. You did well, Gringo. Waiter. You want a taxi, lady? Oh, yes, please. Right here, one just arrived. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, this cab's taken. Then perhaps we can ride together. Please get in. Look, I'm not interested in your Latin charm. I'm in a hurry. Get in. Now, just a minute.
seems to be full of people with guns and knives. Supposing you and I talk, huh? Reputation has not been exaggerated. He had just come in. And he has a prisoner with him. One of the Enriquez brothers? <laughs> oh, no, that would be too much to hope for. However, everything seems to be working. From merely being intrigued, the saint is now involved. The next 48 hours will be fascinating. And what's our next move? Mm -hmm. Ours, nothing. For years, I've enjoyed the newspaper reports about the saint. Now, I shall savor the experience First hand. Come in, Mr. Templar. Captain Xavier, I trust we're not disturbing you. Not at all. I'm delighted to see you. Uh, who is your friend? Oh, I thought you might know. I do. Francisco Gomez. He has the reputation of being something of an artist with a knife. A very inferior artist, I'm afraid. He attacked you? Well, who made the first move is debatable. The point is that Cisco here works for the Enriquez brothers. He happened to mention it while we were having a little talk. You have some interest in the Enriquez? No, but I have an interest in a girl I saw them push into a car. Now, Cisco says he doesn't know where they took her. And as he was suffering a little pain when I asked, I'm inclined to believe him. And now you think if he's allowed to go free and wander the streets, he might report back to his employers and... Tell them about your little talk. It's a very fair analysis, Captain. Can you hold him? Oh, of course. How long? A month? Three months? A year? <laughs> a couple of days will be enough. Right. Esteban, take him down and book him. Attempted homicide. Hold him incommunicado. Come on. Oh. And then, me, Mr. Templer, this young lady, you see the one from the restaurant? Yes. Oh, all right, and if she doesn't turn up in a couple of hours, we put out the general call. In the meantime, I assume you're going to look for her, eh? Yes, uh, if I can get a lead. But anyway, thanks for your help. Uh, oh, senor, uh, the young lady's name is uh, Miss Doris Inkler. But an hour ago in the restaurant, you told me you didn't know her. Oh, but I didn't. But you showed such great interest in her, I made it my business to find out. She's down here with her brother. Doing what? As far as I'm able to discover, they're selling guns. Soon I will give the signal and we will rise. A show and flood will sweep the rich from their palaces. Never again will children starve in the streets. All right, Yolesco, all right. Uh, save it for the peasants. Why? I want to make our purpose clear. These people must know the revolution is the will of the people. People who are... I said, shut up. Senor Yashilo, like so many politicians, uh, likes to hear his uh, own voice. However, what he says is true. As in most countries, there are groups here who do not love our government. Yalesco could inflame them and inspire them to rebel. What's your interest in all this? For reasons you don't have to know, we favor a change of administration. However, we know that a revolution cannot succeed without arms. Well, what does that have to do with us? You know very well what it has to do with you, so don't you... Pablo, please. Senor Inkla, three miles off our coast is a cargo ship loaded with guns. You own those guns. For the past four days, you have been to every ministry in the capital trying to get an import permit. You seem to know an awful lot about my business. You are going to sell us those guns, senor. Every last one of them. Well, how the devil can I? I can't get a permit. I can't get the guns into the country. That can be fixed. We are buying those guns. What do you think? What does she think? What does she think? What difference it makes? 
you are going to sell to us or else you are not going to be around to sell to nobody. It's as simple as that. You, you did say buy, didn't you? Yes. You'll pay our price? What is your price? Half a million. American dollars. We will give you 375,000. Oh, now wait a minute. We've got a lot of money tied up in that shipment. My brother says 375 grand. That is what you will get. Oh, sure, we can't let them go for that. We won't even break even. You think he has a choice? He's right, Doris. All right, you got a deal. Well, uh, not quite. We like to see what we are buying. Radio your ship. Tell her to put into San Martino. It is a little fishing village just down the coast. No customs. San Martino. Right. Good, senor. Tomorrow morning, we will uh, pick you up at your hotel and drive you down there. If the goods are all right, then we will pay you in cash. And uh, afterwards, you can make your way out of the country. If the goods are not all right. May we go now? Sure, I'd drive you myself, only we have more business to discuss. You find a cab on the main street. <laughs> You are going to trust them? Of course not. Follow them to the hotel. Make sure they don't try to run out. Hotel Alba? Ah, do you have a Miss Doris or a Mr. Sherman Inkler staying with you? Yes, I hope. They're not. Thank you. Operator, would you get me the hotel reformer, please? Thank you. Come in. Good evening. You can stop trying now. No, thank you, operator. I don't need it. This just goes to prove that telepathy beats telephones at any time. I could have let you go on a lot longer if I'd wanted to be tough on you, but... I just got tired standing outside. Oh, you must have a very kind heart. This is a very difficult way to locate somebody I know, because that's how I tried to find you. Where are you staying? Right here, room 611. Well, this is probably the last place I'd have thought of trying. It seemed too easy. Now, why were you trying to find me? If I would say because you're beautiful, would you believe me? It's a start. Why were you trying to find me? Well, I suppose you fix us a drink and we'll talk about it. The Inklers have returned to their hotel. Alone? They were followed. Vincente Perez is across the street watching the main door. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be much trust between the Inklers and the Enriquez, huh? That's very good. How about Senor Templar? He's still alone in his room? In his room, but not alone. The girl went visiting about ten minutes ago. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Uh, the ingredients are coming together like for a rare dish. You know, Esteban, were it not for my extreme modesty, I would say I'm a most remarkable policeman. You want me to go back to the hotel and keep watch? No, no, no. I'm going home now. You do the same. Just telephone my wife and tell her I'm on my way back for supper. Just a snack. Sleep assured, there will be no more action tonight. At least not of the kind that would interest us policemen. Supposing you tell me some more about the Enriquez brothers. They're planning a revolution. And you're going to sell them the guns. Do you care? Yes, I care. Well, it may be rather sentimental, but the present government seems to me to be reasonably honest and intelligent. The only objective of an internal war would be to get two top-line drafters off the hook and back in business. Does that bother you? Whenever people get killed, I'm bothered. That's what revolution means. Death and misery on a large scale. I wouldn't like it. Not even if I dropped a large chunk of change in your lap? Not even if you dropped me the keys to Fort Knox. 
You mean you try to stop Sherman and I? Sure. That's what I thought you'd say. Good. Good. Well, I had to be sure you'd be with us. Simon, we're not selling guns. This thing is a big contract. We're selling boxes of iron bars. <laughs> like I said, you are beautiful. Did you fix us another drink? Later. Should we discuss the deal? Later. Morning, Simon. Come on in. Morning. Sherman, this is Mr. Simon Tempter, my brother Sherman. Nice to meet you. I'm pleased to know you. Uh, would you like some breakfast? No, thank you. I've already had mine. Well, sit down. Thank you. The Enrique boys will be here pretty soon to pick us up. Has uh, Doris told you the plan? Yes, we uh, talked till well into the early hours. As I understand it, I'm to get one third of the final payoff. That's right. Now, frankly, I think you're being over generous, but I accept. Well, you'll earn every penny of it. The Hendriki boys may try to grab the money and the cargo. It's going to be up to you to prevent that. Uh, let's say you're a high-priced insurance policy to guarantee we get our dough. What do you think of the idea? A truly noble swindle. Boldly conceived, ingeniously contrived, professionally played. A classic. I wish I thought of it myself. There's just one or two points. What's that? Oh, Doris tells me that you have a few genuine cases of guns to convince the would-be buyers. How can you be sure these are the ones that are check? Well, in the first place, the way they're stacked in the hold of the ship. That and a little uh, elementary psychology. I uh, majored in it in school. Fine. All right, who am I? You're a friend of ours, business partner from New York. You arrived last night. But will the Enrique boys recognize you? We were in the same restaurant last night, but there again, they uh, never took their eyes off you. Anyway, just for the record, I'll change my name. How about uh, Tombs, Sebastian Tombs? It's fine, I like it. Well, here we go. Buenos dias, senorita. Claro. Come on in. Senorita. Uh, would you like some coffee? I think not. The car is waiting downstairs. We have a long drive. Oh, uh, you've not met our partner. Partner? Tombs. There's Sebastian Tombs. Great little country you got here. Just love it. Love it. You're coming with us, Mr. Tombs? Oh, I sure am. I'd hate for Sherman Baby here to collect the dough and then forget to come on back to the States. We had better get started. Well, we're all set. Last night, you didn't say nothing about having no partner. Well, last night, I didn't have much of a chance to say anything. You will understand my brother's caution, Senor Tombs. This transaction means a great deal to us. Uh, to us, too. We have a great deal of capital tied up in this venture. And the price you're paying is not what we'd hoped for. But remember, we are saving you the formalities of licenses and import duties. It is fair. It's just that I don't like strangers coming in on the deal. Well, until last night, you were strangers to us, Mr. Enrique. At what time will your ship reach the harbor? Well, I talked to the captain on the radio telephone this morning. He figured to be alongside by noon. Then we should reach there not much more than an hour after them. He won't have any trouble docking, Lee. I mean, the local police won't want to snoop around. One of my men went down very early to make sure we avoid any trouble. That's the kind of forethought I admire, Mr. Enriquez. I am flattered, Senor Tu. Everything all right? See. Si. No trouble? No, I do not think anybody even knows she is here. Oh, my. Excuse me. Afraid I fell asleep. Newcomers find it easy to sleep. It is the climate. Mm. Manuel. 
Let's take a look at the cargo. I think it's better if you stay here. All right. See, si. Vincenti will amuse you. Mm. Would you like to sit in the car, senorita? No, thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Ingler. Hi. This is my first mate, Mr. Rayner. These gentlemen want to come on board to inspect the cargo. All ready for you, sir. If you'd like to follow me. Tequila? No, thank you. Uh, you've been around South America very long? Well, just let's say I've been around, huh? Okay. Let's have a look. Well, take your pick. Only make it near the top, will you? Because they're easier to get at, and we don't want to do too much hard work down here in this heat. You choose. Well, it doesn't make any difference to me. They're all exactly the same. No, uh, you make the choice. All right. Uh, uh, moment. I think perhaps, uh... This one. Okay. Here we are. One of the finest semi-automatic weapons in the world. Gas operated, eight rounds, rapid fire. Lethal within a half a mile. See, they're fine guns. Let's uh, see some more. Well, they're all exactly the same. Open another box. Okay. Um, this one? Uh, no. I think uh, this one. Oh, they're all the same. What's wrong with this one? If they're all the same, then. Why not this one? I tell you, they're all exactly the same. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? Open the one my brother has chosen. Senor Toombs, move over there. Now, Senor Inkler, open the case. This is ridiculous. You understand, we must exercise a certain caution. There is a great deal of money involved. Yeah, sure, sure. Now are you happy? Not quite. I hate to add to your work in this heat, but I would like to see one from the bottom of the pack. Well, which one? I will let you know. In a minute. This one. Look, you're crazy. If you think I'm going to tear into all those cases just to prove they're all exactly the same, you're nuts. Look, I'll take the ship. We'll call the whole deal off. Look, I've acted Stay in good where faith. You are. Senorita, I was told to entertain you. Why do you make it so difficult Will you for me? cut it out, Vince? I'm just not interested. No, no! Look, you start to be nice to me. Get your I hands don't have to take that me, from you Vince. or no one. Oh, you are the spitfire, huh? Look, Vince, please, just cut it out. Vince, stop it! They are all right. They are quite good. Manuel, you want to try? No, I am convinced. I apologize for my doubts. You got yourself a deal, gentlemen. Is everything all right? Do you need help? No, everything's fine. You go arrange for the trucks. Manuel, I think I'll go with you. Sure. Well, now, uh, about the money. $375,000, I think we agreed. 
The money will be waiting for you when you deliver the guns. Deliver them? What do you mean, deliver them? They're here, aren't they? Exactly. And I want them in my warehouse in Oropesa. This is a village about 100 miles from here, up in the mountains. Oh, wait a minute. Driving these guns halfway across the country was no part of our deal. Uh, what Mr. Enriques is trying to say is he doesn't trust us. Right. A little blunt, perhaps, but accurate. If I pay you now, you could be outside territorial waters in a couple of hours and radioing the police. But from our appraiser, it'll take a lot longer to leave the country. Well, what's to prevent us from calling the police then? <laughs> By then, it will not matter. The opening shots in the revolution will already have been fired. Vincenti will stay with you to arrange transport and uh, protect our investment. We meet tonight in Oropesa. Adios, gentlemen. Adios. That's great. That's just great. Some lousy little hick village in the middle of the mountains. A perfect place for a double cross. Right, if you want to pull out, shouldn't be too difficult with only Vincent to take care of. Now, how can I? I want that dough. Well, the answer's very simple, Sean. By the time you leave Arapesa, you'll either be very rich or very dead. You're overloading that truck. Mister, I told you maybe 20, 30 times. Freight trucks is all I can get. Now maybe you'll help some instead of making smart remarks, huh? Why, well, don't like to interfere. You seem to be enjoying it so much. Do you enjoy needling him? Yes, there's a nasty, sadistic streak in my nature. Let's have another look at the map. All set? Yeah. When we get up there, the slightest thing that looks like a double cross, you go into action right away. Got it? It'll be my pleasure. Okay, we go. All right, smart guy, come on. Know the road? Don't you worry. Should be well on their way by now. Good. If we start now, we get there a couple of hours ahead of them. You got all you want, Jalisco? Si. Then we get started. When I come back to the city, it will not be to a stinking cellar like this. I will return in triumph to the palace of the Presidente. Si, si. But don't you ever forget who put you there. Shake loose. The case is all right. I tied it on myself. We've made good time. Yes, if the trucks are on schedule, by now they should have reached Pacentia. And we'll put them into the car. Better let me have your gun. What's happening? You dropped the wrong case. Vincenzi spotted it. If he gets to a telephone, we're done for. Well, where is he? Let's get him. No, you'll join the convoy. When you get to the warehouse, stall for time. Say we had a flat. 
Now get going before the others come back. Right. Amigo, I am coming past. Throw out your gun or I will kill the girl. Simon! Simon! Get out of the way. late. See, si, seven minutes. Maybe they have had a breakdown. If they're not here in another five minutes, Manuel, we had better go and look for them. Sure. Fine, just fine. Where is Vicente? Oh, <laughs> they had a flat tire. They said they'd be there long just as soon as they got a spare on. Then while we wait for them, perhaps you would like to count the money. It is all ready for you. Oh, that's fine. There you are. 375,000 American dollars. That's real pretty. I shall not be offended if you would like to check it. Thank you. I would. You'll never get away with this. Oh? Who's gonna stop us? Well, Vince, who? You? You're the only one who could because you're the only one who knows. But I wouldn't try it if I were you. Now, when we get there, remember this little baby will be in my pocket. And I don't mind ruining one good suit. It means putting a bullet in your back. Manuel! The trucks are all unloaded. You want that they should uh, unpack the crates? Might as well. Now, wait a minute. Maybe we had better wait until Yalisco gets here with the men. He might want to send cases to other villages. Sure. How would it be if I borrowed your car and went back up the highway? Maybe the spare tire was flat and I could give them a hand. If uh, they don't show up in a little while, we can all go and look for them. In the meantime, you are going nowhere. That's right, Vince. Pull up nice and easy. Doris, be a sweetheart and see if the Enriquez brothers were kind enough to leave their ignition keys in the car. If they're there, forget your scruples and take them. Now, Vince, baby, if you want to see the sunshine tomorrow, there'll be no nods, no winks, no sudden moves, no anything. Just be your own sweet, natural self. And remember, I'll be right behind you. Oh, well, they did. How kind of them. All right, which way? They're here. Hello? Senorita. You're a little late. 
We had a flat tire. Yeah, one of the wheel nuts got twisted. Otherwise, we'd have made it sooner, Mr. Enriquez. In your tools? Sure, I'm dealing all set. Yes, got the money right here. You all right, Doris? Oh, yes, fine. We had a lovely trip. Vince showed us all the points of interest. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> we, we got to be real good buddies, didn't we, Vince, baby? See. Si. Well, then our business seems to be completed. Senor Inkler has the money, we have the guns. I am sure you're eager to be on your way. As a matter of fact, Vince here has uh, offered to drive us back. Huh? Well, he did bring us up. Of course. Be a gentleman, open the door for the lady, Vince. Goodbye, senor. Goodbye, senorita. When you come to our country again, I hope you will visit us in the Presidential Palace. Well, it's a good half hour since we saw any sign of life. This seems a good place to stop. And with that thought, we say farewell. Get out, Vince. Take a look in that suitcase. Oh. oh, we did it. We did it. Look at all this money. It worked like a charm. Enrique's brothers were on the level. They'll swindle and cheat and kill, but they pay their bills. I guess there is honor among certain kinds of thieves. Oh, and Simon, darling, we couldn't have done any of this without you. and money, too. Well, not quite. There's no mistaking, Simon. This is your gun, and I'm not at all afraid to use it if you try anything. Pull over, Sherm. I have a sneaking suspicion you're trying to get out of paying me my share. You're so right. You're just too expensive a partner. That's the way I'd figured it. Oh, you did? Don't waste time talking. Get him out. No, no, no. Wait a minute. I want to hear this. Just what did you figure, Mr. Templer? Oh, when you made me the offer. You were far too generous. A full third. That was a tip-off. I gave up believing in fairy godmothers a long time ago. Oh, really? Then just why did you do it? My insatiable curiosity. Anyway, I felt that if you did try to cheat me, I'd have to teach you a lesson. Oh, that'll be the day. Get out of the car, teacher. Well, it's a great pity, Doris. If you could have ditched your brother, we could have had a lot of fun, you and I. I'm afraid Sherm wouldn't be that easy to ditch. You see, he's not my brother, he's my husband. Makes a better act that way. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't bother, Doris. Just lost any sympathy I had for you. You tried to kill me. But then again, I figured you might. That's why I took the showers out back in the warehouse. You rotten, lousy, uh, filthy... Doris, I want to remember you as a sweet and lovely woman. Oh, I'll find you, Simon. I'll find you and I'll kill you for this. Well, in that case, uh, you'll need your bus fare and your passport. Hasta luego. Simon Templer. Yes, I wonder if you would be good enough to come with me. Purely a formality, you understand? Well, actually, I don't think I have time, though. I'll be calling my flight any second. Oh, please. A matter of just a few minutes. This way, please. Hi, Harvey. 
expected to see you. Senor Templer, so sorry you're leaving us so soon. Yes, I uh, had a wire from some friends. They're on their honeymoon. They asked me to join them. <laughs> How very civilized. <laughs> Was the best man. You know what they say. <laughs> and uh, this is your wedding present? Yes. Uh, may I see it? If I thought it would do any good, I'd say no. Help yourself. <laughs> Such a wedding present, hmm? Weighs less than silver. <laughs> I suppose uh, this belongs to the Enriquez brothers, hmm? It did. But they paid it out quite voluntarily for what they thought was a shipment of arms. Supplied by Mr. and Mrs. Inkler. You knew? Of course. I just wanted to make sure you knew. That's why I had you brought to the restaurant. Well, the Inklers have been carrying on this record all over South America. When they arrived here, I, I knew their mark was uh, the Enriquez. I had no great desire to protect Pablo and Manuel. On the other hand, it was my duty not to let the Inklers swindle them. I didn't know what to do. And all of a sudden, I dropped out of the blue. See, I was sure I could rely on you for a solution. Such a lot of money, eh? However, uh, I've had no report of any such sum being stolen. No one has made an accusation, so I... I cannot prevent you leaving with it. That's right. Thank you, Captain. Oh, would you like to know what I intend doing with this? Oh, sure. After I've deducted out-of-pocket expenses, of course. <laughs> I, I would be very grateful. I'm going to give it to UNICEF. You need what? The United Nations Children's Fund. Oh. So some of it may find its way back into your country after all. Ah, oh, you're, you're such a good man, Senor Saint. Thank you. Adios, Captain. Yeah, I think it's best for this money to be given to the children of the world than some... Uh... Some revolution racket? Yeah. Uh -huh.